How long does it take for salt to damage concrete? If you're wondering how long it takes for salt to damage your concrete, you're not alone. Many people use salt to melt ice and snow, but they often don't realize the potential harm it can cause to their concrete surfaces. Let's break down the process and timeline. First, it's important to understand that salt damage to concrete doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process that can take anywhere from a few months to several years, depending on several factors. One key factor is the frequency of salt exposure. If your concrete is regularly treated with de-icing salts, especially in areas with harsh winters, the damage will appear much sooner. For instance, if you live in a region where salt is used frequently to clear icy roads and driveways, you might notice early signs of damage within the first winter season itself. Environmental conditions also play a significant role. Areas with frequent freeze-thaw cycles accelerate the damage process. When salt lowers the freezing point of water, it creates a cycle of thawing and refreezing. This causes water to seep into the concrete's pores and expand when it freezes, leading to internal pressure and eventual cracking. The quality of the concrete is another critical factor. High-quality, well-cured concrete with low permeability will resist salt damage longer than poor-quality, porous concrete. Newly poured concrete, for example, is more vulnerable because it hasn't fully cured and reached its maximum strength. Now let's talk about the early signs of salt damage. You might notice surface scaling, where the top layer of the concrete starts to flake off. Discoloration, often in the form of white or grayish stains known as efflorescence, is another sign. Small cracks can also appear, which can expand over time. More severe damage includes spalling, where chunks of concrete break away from the surface. To give you a better idea, here are some general timelines. Surface scaling and discoloration. These can appear within a few months of regular salt exposure. Cracking. Small cracks might start to show up within the first year, especially if the concrete is exposed to frequent freeze-thaw cycles. Spalling. This more severe form of damage can take a few years to manifest if no protective measures are taken. To protect your concrete, consider using salt alternatives like cat litter, sand, or wood chips for traction. Applying a high-quality concrete sealant can create a protective barrier against salt penetration. Regular inspections and prompt repairs of minor issues can also help prevent further damage. In summary, the time it takes for salt to damage concrete varies widely based on exposure, environmental conditions, and the quality of the concrete. By recognizing the early signs and taking proactive measures, you can significantly extend the lifespan of your concrete surfaces.